Hello and welcome. So in your exam, uh, there is a clear mention of understanding the fundamental AI concepts and workloads. So this is the key topic which has a weightage of around 10%. So we've already taken a look at the fundamentals of AI. Now it's time to take a look at the various workloads. So we'll talk about what kind of workloads are we talking about when we uh, are talking about artificial intelligence. So here we'll uh, take a look. I'll, I'll explain you that workload and uh, what I've done is I've taken a very small kind of a demo or a video for you guys to get a very good understanding of that workload, right? The very first one is machine learning. You will, don't worry if you don't understand machine learning at this moment because we'll do a deep dive into machine learning. What is machine learning or the types of machine learning? So for the moment, just try and understand that it is a branch of artificial intelligence and computer science, right? Which focuses on the using or usage of data and algorithms to imitate or mimic the way humans learn and improve their accuracy. And the best example we give is of a cat and a dog, right? Just imagine when a child is born, is a child able to figure out whether it's a cat or a dog? No. So it's just based on learning, right? A child learns, a child will read books, the parents will tell him, okay, this is a cat, this is how a dog looks like, these are the features of a cat, and this is a fe these are the features of a dog, right? Same way what we are saying is machine learning, it is the way we teach a computer model to make predictions and draw conclusions from the data, right? Just like humans, just like a baby thinks like a cat and a dog, a, a, a machine or a computer is trained and this training is done based on a computer model. So what I've done is I've taken a video of um, say Netflix. So uh, Netflix is uh, I would say uh, the perfect example because when you are watching movies and if you have to watch a new movie you will see that Netflix gives some recommendations. There's a concept of recommendations in Netflix and how that recommendations works. It works on machine learning because it's trying to understand that, oh, you love more of say thriller movies or you love more of rom-coms or romantic comedies. So it will start recommending those movies to you. So quick video on that. Fancy is trying different algorithms and letting our members tell us what sort of experience actually work out for them so we can make sure that uh, whatever choice we make is the one choice that improves joy for our member base through the process of a b testing you learn what the next challenge okay so here uh, they're just talking about a b testing which is again a form of machine learning the uh, netflix guys are using for doing the recommendations right the next one we talk about is computer vision right so Computer vision is a type of artificial intelligence which enables the computers to identify and classify the objects in images or videos. Now, if you just imagine, uh, till now, what has been happening is that you've been uploading a video or you've been uploading, say, uh, a photograph, but computers were not able to identify what are the different objects within those photographs or, or those videos. Now, with computer vision, the machines have the capability to interpret the world visually through cameras, videos, and images. Again, a quick, um, say, video on this. Okay, perfect. So you could really see, if you can see from here, a computer is able to identify each and every object here, right? If there was a ball somewhere over here, the, uh, the computer would have identified there's a ball, right? These are all humans, right? So this is the capability that you are able to identify and classify the objects within a, uh, within a video or, or an image. Next very important one is NLPs or the natural language processing, right? As the name suggests, natural language. 
how do the humans speak? Humans speak in their own language. Like I, I'm speaking right now in English. Somebody could speak in Hindi. Other person could speak in some other language, right? So now it is the capability within AI for a computer to interpret written or spoken language and then respond in kind. The perfect example of this is Alexa, right? So sorry, I had to switch off my Alexa because uh, I'm, I'm sure when I said Alexa, it will wake up my Alexa. Right? So the thing is that and, and I'll, I'll, I'll give you a quick example and a video on this as well. Alexa, open Amazon Math. Welcome to Amazon Math, a fun place where we can practice math together. Well done. Next question. You got five out of five correct. Alexa, announce I finished homework. Okay, so perfect example of NLP or natural language processing. Right. You can see it's trying different algorithms. Okay, now we will talk about Gen AI or generative AI. So guys, remember there is a shift from predictive AI to generative AI. Previously, they used to be predictive AI, right? So there was a predictive AI predictive AI and here we are talking about gen AI right the difference is clear with predictive AI we knew the outcome or the computer was already told hey you need to tell me whether based on this uh, data whether this person is having diabetes or this person is not having diabetes so I'm just feeding the data and it is giving me the results telling me okay this computer this person a has diabetes person b doesn't have diabetes but here we are talking about gen ai right gen generative you are generation you are generating on the fly right so it says it is a capability within ai to create original content very important original content right perfect example now let's say you met your wife um, and you want to uh, say surprise her on her birthday by writing a poem for her right and you you'll just simply give certain uh, kind of um, say inputs to gen ai system and you'll say hey i uh, my, i love my wife i met her at this place and um, these are the, her likings and these are her positives and it will just generate a nice poem for you so that is perfect example of generative AI. So remember, it can be in different formats, including natural language, image, code, and more. So even you can ask it to write a code for you. Let's say you want a Python code to uh, 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 create a graph, right? So you can uh, ask Gen AI to write a code for you, right? Or you can ask for an image. You can ask for an architectural diagram, how cybersecurity workflows look like, right? Again, an example of generative AI. So here again, I'm taking a quick example of, um, say, ChatGPT, which is like quite, quite popular these days. Uh, Oracle is also coming up with its own uh, flavor of Gen AI. Uh, but here, just to uh, give a good, good understanding, uh, we'll, we'll talk about uh, the ChatGPT. <laughs> So yeah, so here you can see it just simply said, write a 400 word review on gas sensor data sets, right? And within a matter of few seconds, it started generating the data for you. So, and it, it's in front of you. It's pretty quick. It's, it's, it's amazing the way it does, right? So it's a perfect example of Gen AI or generative AI. So I think with this, you've got a very good understanding of what are the various types of workloads in the field of AI or artificial intelligence.